Okay, let's tag and title this video on page optimization for maximum SEO value part two. Only this time I'm going to show you in detail, cradle to grave, how I optimize a blog post article on the WordPress platform using the SEO Presser plugin. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go into Gmail and I author my blog post. So it's got all the moving parts. My headline, I went and I've already gotten the, the, uh, the embed code for the video. I've used my uh, bit.ly so I can track everything and I put it into put it into Gmail so I can basically just so I can run spell check then I grab all this code and I drop it into notepad so there's no text formatting whatsoever don't use don't use MS Word because it'll mess things up for you okay then back to the video rather back to the WordPress blog then I all all I do is I just copy that code directly into the WordPress blog. I'm in the dashboard now. I'm editing a new post. So as you can see here, I've got my headline. I've got all the code in here. Now see, I'm using the visual view now. There's the HTML view. Same thing, only different. And I've already gone into because I use the uh, all-in-one SEO. I've got my headline my title, my description, and my tags, my keywords. So now all I got to do is drop into the SEO presser keyword, control paste. There's my target keyword. So now, slide up on over here. If I can ever find my, uh, let me see, where's my cursor? So I go from a, an ugly zero to save draft. That's going to populate and it's going to tell me what's good, what's bad about this blog post up to the moment. So right out of the gate I've got a 64. So now my mission is to let's get rid of the red X's. So I like to use the, the visual cue because I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, what you call it, a code jockey. So here we go. I'm going to highlight this text here. And then it's kind of like using MS Word. Instead of paragraph, I'm going to select, I want that to be my H1 tag. Good. There's my H1. I'm going to come down here to keyword winner features, highlight it. I'm going to make that from paragraph, which is the default, as soon as it drops down. Come on. Come on, drop down. And I'm going to make it an H2. Good. I'm going to come down here a little bit farther. I'm going to highlight this. There's my keyword. Scroll on up here a little bit so I can get that interface. And I'm going to make this one an H3. Good. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to save draft again and I'm going to make those top three X's go away. <clears throat> Which is good. Now I want to make an internal link to some text on this. So I'm going to go back to my Word, or no, not my Word, that is my. Uh, this is my notepad. I'm going to copy that link right there. I'm going to highlight something that makes sense so I can send it to an internal page. So let's pick, uh, let's say, hmm, let's go. Want something? I'm looking for some kind of phrase, some kind of word combination for good for no let's go ranking high I'm gonna highlight that text right there I'm gonna link it to that internal page there it is 
I'm going to do control V oops nope come back here let's go cop nope 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 wrong one undo keep messing up sorry about that let's go copy go back to the blog paste it in there this is on page optimization we're going to keep it in the same window we're going to add the link we're going to save the draft to make that X go away we went from 88 to eighty-eight point nine let's preview it's gonna show us what we look like anything over 75 is good to go and lo and behold we've got a blog post article with a score of almost 90 that has all the right look and feel got my H1, got my H2, got my H3 tags I've got all the stuff that I need for good strong on-page optimization I'll go in here and fix this other little detail later but that gives you the idea which is basically just get rid of all the X's build the blog post I, I use Gmail so I can run spell check and then I pop it into notepad so I lose all the formatting drop it into the dashboard and hit the go button so there you go we've got part one which is on page optimization the high level we got two that shows you what the blog post looks like going through the process and we're good to go so there it is and we'll talk at you soon